about it. Did y'all really start two watches, bro? When I seen that, I was like, yeah. I don't know, that might be a reach. Bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know. Nah, that no, no reach. Nah, that's not a reach. Baby <laughs> said it's a 1997. Now you can go look at Slick Rick, any one of them, yeah. and you won't even see none of them wearing no two watches. Now, the first time I seen somebody wear two watches in hip hop was Birdman, though. That's not no reach. Yeah. You can go look at when you get a chance, make a home left up here by the service road, like not right here, but up a uh -huh. little bit right here. Um, and uh, right here, so we're about to go towards Tower Lane, but anyway, uh, you know, uh, it, it's just like Baby did that first. I remember on um, Big Time's album, I think it was on that own um, How You Love That album, whatever. Yeah. And he was, it was a song I think called on, um, I think it was on a song called Stunting and all that. I think, I think if it was not, it might have been, I don't know. No, it was Sugar Pop, it was on a song Sugar Pop. And then that song, he said, My Brother Prime Time had me wearing two watches. So Baby said this like in 97, this before Cash Money got the deal. He was already doing this shit. Like yeah. he was already innovative, he was already ahead of his time. So Baby said that shit or whatever back then. And then on Juvenile Video, huh? Baby had the two watches when he riding past in a blue car. I think he was in a blue Jag. He pruned his finger like he got a gun. He got two watches on right there. Then on Wo Kimasabi said, nigga, front of me, two kilos, whatever. He had the two watches yeah. on. Then he had it on bling bling when he threw the money up and he put the watches up. So Baby already was doing that shit. Now you see all these rappers doing, wearing two watches and all that and wearing at the awards and shit like that. But that's a cash money thing. Just like I gotta say, the shit, like I know I shot out to Meg the Stallion, but I was still wondering when she did trademark the high girl summer. I was like, what if we would trademark to somebody say something about Trill? I know people from, in Texas make a right right this tire lane. A lot of people would have been appalled by that or whatever if yeah. she would have did that. So I respect so Meg and I, I like what she I wanna did. I want to hear your take on the Trill. So you saying so y'all invented Trill? No, 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 no. I'm okay. saying y'all invented Trill. But the I record said, label. Yeah, okay. yeah. So that's why you talking about Trill the with Boosting, he got a co-sign from Pimp. Pimp yeah. co-signed that. Exactly. Pimp, Pimp and made that word. That word, from my understanding, come from Short, Texas and Port Arthur, Texas. Full nine, they made that word, but I'm saying I know Pimp C would have felt a certain way if he would have knew that Meg tried to trade off the cop, hot girl summer shit because yeah. everybody know hot girls still come from on. And like I said, this is true. I grew up on Tyrell Lane too, whatever, and all that. When Slim said 95 around Tyrell Lane, so this yeah. Tyrell Lane is on the east side of the and shit like that. Everybody know about the donut shop, but yeah, so like I said, salute to Meg because I like the song she did, or whatever, and all that. With the New Orleans artists and stuff like that from now here, how she reach out and stuff, and she show love to the culture. But oh, yeah, I know people, a lot of people don't know. Twenty years ago, BG told us what the definition of a hot girl was and what a hot boy, a hot girl um, was and stuff like that. And Missy responded to that with hot boy for the hot um, for the hot girls and stuff like that. So um, yeah, so yeah, so like I said, um, yeah. New Orleans did a lot of little shit and all that. I, I'm not, and I don't be trying to make like New Orleans did everything because we didn't. And all that, you know, nah, but you California got a lot of yeah. shit. Texas got so much shit. Yeah. Niggas want to Dallas. 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 <laughs> Dallas. They be still a lot of shit. The Texas haircuts still. that Dallas got. Yeah. But I'm just talking about, even when I think about Texas stuff, the yeah. haircuts that y'all got that's different yeah. and all that. You know, the way y'all do y'all cars and stuff like that. Like, it's like Shreveport, fuck with Dallas a lot too, because y'all long 20. Oh, yeah, we right so it, it's just, it's like Texas got culture so rich, even with the Mexicans. Culture they bring to Texas and like the way that all um, Mexicans bring the culture to my own um, to to, um, to LA and stuff. So you know it's just it's just y'all got some rich 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 culture. Man, I appreciate it and the same out here, man. Right and shit. What else we gotta look forward to, man? You got the uh, your hands in a lot messing with a few artists. Yeah. You, you the ambassador, so I always know it's gonna be a new special coming. Yeah. It's something that you breaking down. Like what else do we gotta look and forward it, to? It's man? crazy. Like I said, I never said I was that. You know. Shout out to Sean for. Sean Cotton, though. Like I said, I can't give that dude enough credit, now. Like, I swear to God. Like, he believed in me, you know, when nobody didn't. And yeah. this man put a light on me when nobody didn't. Nobody wasn't trying to post my stuff. People was looking at my stuff. And this man, like I always say, geniuses is crazy because they're crazy enough to see stuff that other people can't. Yeah. He was crazy enough to take a chance and post my videos when, when other people weren't doing it. And yeah. I wasn't worrying about it, but it was just crazy that, you know, people always be talking about, you know, that we need to stick together, we need to reach one, teach one, we need to help one another yeah. out. And Sean, all the way from out there, this man from Bone and Philly, by the way, Arlington and all that. And I feel like he put a whole lot of light on Bad Rouge. I feel like he helped a lot of artists out. He don't get enough of his flowers and on. You know, I gotta give all the credit to him or whatever now, cause like I said, without Sean Cotton, I probably wouldn't be sitting in the car or whatever right now doing this interview. So yeah, I gotta yeah, shout out man. to your partner though. But shit, I appreciate that man. I Any shout out to anything, on, bro. Man, like I said, shout out to Sean Cotton, shout out to the whole New Orleans and stuff like that, man. Shout out to the whole Louisiana. We got parishes down here. It's different. 
we, 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 we different down here and all, and I, I, I hate to always say that, but we is. Nobody <laughs> don't have Paris in the United States but us, yeah. and all that. That's just like what it is. So when nigga from be like, all these, when a nigga be like, I'm locked up in a parish. You know, when Boots said I got some niggas in the parish waiting on a visit. That's 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 East Baton Rouge Parish he was talking about, and we got all these parish with them. And see, murder my brother caught they charging Jefferson Parish, which is on the West Bank, mm. on the other side of the river, the muddy Mississippi, run all the way up to do do Minnesota. Yeah. That, and I want to say that too because a lot of people don't know that whatever. Just because we talking about the culture or whatever. Like I said, you know, after the Louisiana Purchase, the third president Thomas Jefferson knew how vital that 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 mountain. Mississippi was how, how that, that river was important because what you could get through that river. So even back then, those 15 states was connected to Louisiana territory. The third president knew how important that was. And like I said, after the Haitians won over that land in Haiti or whatever, and, Haiti, and, and France lost that, they sold a deal to Louisiana that doubled the size of the biggest deal in American real estate history. Yeah. And it's because of what those Haitians did. So shout out to the Haitians for being the people that stood up for everybody. And I feel bad sometimes when I look at how nobody don't come to bed for hate or stand up like they should. Some people do, but I feel like we should really have their back more in the time of the crisis, in time something going on. We should really stand up for them. And definitely New Orleans because New Orleans and Haiti got a, a, a rich culture that go back 200 years. That don't make a lot of sense, man. Yeah, I mean, and, you, like, and you can still kind of see it sticking here, you know? Man, it's still here, the gumbo, the voodoo, even though we spell it different. And I know they try to make voodoo like it's bad because the Haitians came together and revolted and took over and all that. And even the uprising with the German, I think it was the German coups uprising or something. I think it was like in St. Charles Paris or something like that. When the slaves that came from Haiti came in, they did that. And that was one of the biggest in American history. But then, you know, they wound up killing a lot of them or whatever, but they still stood up. So the Haitians always been fighters and all that. And that's the kind of blood we got in there. That's why we don't back down. Because we got that blood running through us. Like, like, yeah, go to Haiti Island, go back to Africa. African roots and stuff like that. Yeah. But like I said, I appreciate you coming to my city. I appreciate you talking to the artists that you're going to be talking to while you're here. And all, because you didn't have to do this, man. You took your money, your time, and you doing something that you believe in the same way I believe in what I'm doing. And I didn't have people tell me they wanted to hurt me because I'm just being real. Yeah. And, it, and it is what it is, whatever, and But I guess when you put yourself out there, you know, that just come with it. Real talk. But it is what it is, whatever, and all that. I'm not going to change who I am. I'm not going to dumb it down because I'm speaking from my heart and I never lie one time. And I said, if you can find something that I'm saying that's not true, show me and I'll listen. But yeah. I'm not going to disrespect you. I'm not going to say, nigga, you a lie. Yes, that, and all that, you know. I try my best not to be disrespectful. And I know we can do that sometimes, but I just try to be open minded. I hope people can be open minded to me. And if they can teach me something, I'm always willing to learn. I don't know everything, I don't know about sports. A lot of stuff about cars, but I know a little something about Louisiana. Yeah, yeah, man. We are here first, man, with the motherfucking ambassador of Louisiana, yeah. GDP.